viewers welcome back to the moose mobile auto repair channel and today is the last part of this uh, 2010 uh, subaru outback this one has the 3.6 liter engine and we are just going to be doing the brake fluid flush so the first thing you want to do is open up the the reservoir for the brake fluid and uh, you'll need to to suck out the old fluid out if you're able to and then top it up. Typically you don't want the old fluid to be uh, going through the brake lines so you want to try to get as much uh, of the new fluid uh, in the system. So we're going to top up the, the brake fluid. This vehicle uses a uh, dot 3. You can use dot 3 or dot 4. Dot 4 has a higher boiling point so if you have dot three uh, that's fine but dot four is uh, is better so i have a dot three here so i'm just doing a flush i'm just going to be doing uh, the the gravity bleed i'm not using the the machine today i typically use the the midivac uh, vacuum bleeder machine but today i'm not going to be doing that i'm just going to be opening the bleeder screws and uh, going to let it drain by gravity and then top up the, the master cylinder so we are going to open all of the bleeders up and go from there uh, the first thing you want to do is to make sure that all of the bleeders open because the last thing you want to find out is that that one or more of the bleeders are seized and won't open up and then you won't be able to do the 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 uh the flush so i'm going to be opening the bleeder here and uh at the same time i'm going to be using the brake fluid bottles that i have here to catch the fluid I'm going to open these up uh, all the way as much as possible. So I'm using the, uh, the brake fluid bottles that I purchased from Amazon a, a few years ago. Uh, they're pretty uh, expensive. I think 30 or 35 dollars each. So this one comes, comes with the, the silicone uh, tubing and everything. So I'm just going to be using these uh, to catch the fluid. So now you want to repeat the procedure for all of the calipers here. In the back and the same in the front. So as you're doing the gravity bleed, you want to keep on topping up the master cylinder. You don't want the master cylinder uh, to get low because then uh, it could introduce air. Uh, uh, into the system so keep on doing this until you use probably the whole bottle 946 uh, milliliters it's uh, equivalent to one quart it's close to a liter or until the fluid gets relatively clean I see there's already a lot of dirt and stuff already in there because uh, this system hasn't been flushed out in probably over 10 years so uh, we are going to continue doing the flush and topping up the master cylinder and and once it's topped up you can close the bleeders and and then and then that's it so keep on topping up the brake fluid as you're doing the the gravity bleed and until the fluid gets cleaner and cleaner you can see here he's catching all of the, the dirty fluid. So once you're done and once the brake fluid is topped up, close all the bleeders and wash everything down. And then you'll need to, to pump the brake pedal a few times until you get a firm brake pedal. And once the brake pedal is firm, 
you, you can go for a road test just to verify that everything is okay and, and then you're all good to go so once you're done you can uh, close up the the bleeder screws up wash everything down with the brake cleaner reinstall the cap I want to do the same on the other side as well I want to close uh, all four of the bleeders up I'm going to wash this down. So once you're all done, uh, I cleaned the uh, the cap earlier with some uh, brake cleaner. We're going to close it up. Wash down the area. So this is the old and dirty uh, brake fluid. I want to go inside now. You want to, to pump the brake pedal until you have a firm brake pedal, and then you can go for a, a road test. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please don't forget to give it a like and please consider subscribing to my channel if you're not already a subscriber and i'll see you guys in the next one have a good day and take care